I'm Lucy Leonard from Channel 1 News, reporting live from the Quad area at AU campus. Today, Frank Mallard, a student at AU, was found dead on the sidewalk. Witnesses report that Frank Mallard was found running from the dorm rooms, bleeding and screaming before collapsing here in front of the Mary Graydon building. Police suspect foul play and are looking for the murderer as we speak. Now, back to our anchor. Talon, you better have gotten a good shot of the corpse. It's what people want to see. I did get a quick shot of it, although I really think this stuff bothers people. I think it's a great disrespect to the dead if we show them off like this. Are you kidding? That's what people want to see these days. It's just blood and guts. It's all about violence. Are you sure? We get a lot of views from our human interest stories. <laughs> Whatever. I'm hungry. Let's go get some lunch. <laughs> This looks like about the right place. Talon, I need you to sit up right over... Talon, what are you doing? Oh, I'm sorry. You see, this necklace reminds me of a story I was told when I went to school here. 30 years ago, there was a student here named Mortimer Johnson. He was in love with another student named Stacy Robinson. You know, being the beautiful beautiful girl she was, Stacy had several admirers, one of them being Judas Smith. Mortimer and Judas were friends with Stacy throughout high school and became her most dominant lovers in college. Stacy claimed she couldn't choose between her two friends. Finally, in an act of love, Mortimer committed suicide on a bright summer's day so she wouldn't have to choose between her friends. It was later revealed that Stacy was more attracted to Judas anyway, and eventually the two got married. Whenever they or their families visit a campus, there's always sightings or even a murder by a ghost who only appears in daylight. <laughs> oh, that's just a little ghost story. They tell kids that way they go to class and stuff. <laughs> it's not real. They say whenever someone reminds the ghost of light of either Stacy or Judas, he enacts his revenge in the form of murder. Funny, my mother's name is Stacy. Anyways, let's just get the story done. It's starting to get a little weird. Fine then. Camera roll. Hi, I'm Lucy Leonard reporting live for Channel 1 News on right outside the AU dorms. We are investigating a radical theory as to how Frank Mellard was murdered. It involves a vengeful ghost that there's no way we can do this. We have absolutely no proof that this happened. Talon? Move, move, move! Nighttime now. The ghost is only active during the day. We should be safe. Are you kidding? What about the morning? What happens then? Just keep your eyes open. <laughs> 